Now we're going to substitute that v squared in our second equation. And that will produce that m over r times v squared, which is this term, n squared, h squared, over 4 pi squared, m squared, r squared, is equal to z e squared divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r squared. And from that, we can work out what r is. r equals m n squared h squared over 4 pi squared m squared times 4 pi over e, 4 pi epsilon over z e squared, which is epsilon naught h squared over pi m e squared times n squared over z. But this term is just full of constants and can be reduced to a single constant which we call a naught times n squared over z. And a naught is known as the Bohr radius. Now, from the second equation, we can multiply both sides by r over 2, and we get this, that a half mv squared equals ze squared divided by 8 pi epsilon naught r. And we can substitute that value for half mv squared into the first equation, where energy is half mv squared, which we now know is z e squared divided by 8 pi epsilon naught r, minus the Coulomb term, which is z e squared over 4 pi epsilon naught r. And that's a fairly easy piece of maths. That's just minus z e squared over 8 pi epsilon naught r. Now we are going to substitute into this equation the value that we got for r. So we will say that e equals minus z e squared over 8 pi epsilon naught. And now we need another r, but instead of r, we are going to write pi m e squared over epsilon naught h squared times z over n squared, which comes to a rather startling minus m e to the fourth divided by 8 epsilon naught squared h squared times z squared over n squared. But if you look, this term is just a constant. And it's often called the Rydberg constant, r. And it, if you calculate it, you will find it comes to 13.6 electron volts. So what does this tell us? It tells us that the energy of an electron in a hydrogen atom can have only specific values of energy, which equals minus 13.6 times z squared, which of course is 1 for hydrogen, divided by n squared, and n is an integer.